Talua Bankhead was an outstanding actress known for her cleverness, charm, and unconventional lifestyle. She was famous for her bold performances on stage and screen during the middle of the 20th century. She had a big impact on the entertainment world, and many people found her inspiring. If you have a special memory or personal story about her, feel free to share it below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about this legendary actor. Talala Bankhead, the actress known for her bold personality and distinctive voice, made a big impression on the film industry during her time and beyond. She influenced Hollywood with her unique acting style and fearless attitude challenging traditional ideas. Her contribution to Hollywood was significant for breaking stereotypes and pushing boundaries. Her roles often went against what people expected, showing strong and independent women who weren't afraid to speak their minds. This was new and exciting for audiences and opened doors for other actors to play more varied characters. Besides her performances on screen, she was known for her charm and wit off screen. Her larger than life personality changed how people saw actresses in Hollywood, showing that talent wasn't the only important thing. Her impact can still be felt in the entertainment industry today. She inspired actors and actresses with her fearlessness and willingness to go against the norm. She's remembered as a big part of Hollywood history. In conclusion, Tolula Bankhead's influence on the film industry during her time and beyond was huge. Her different way of acting, fearless attitude, and big personality changed Hollywood, and she's still remembered for it today. Nominated for a Tony Award in 1961 for her role in Midgey Purvis, Tolula Bankhead showed her acting skills on Broadway. She also appeared in a training module for Lowe's Corporation, where associates learned how to handle sales orders. In this module, her name was used as the customer example. During the filming of Lifeboat, she played Connie Porter, but faced challenges. The shooting conditions were tough, leaving the cast wet and covered in oil. This caused Talula Bankhead and her co-star Mary Anderson to get pneumonia. Another cast member, Hume Cronin, suffered two cracked ribs. Production had to stop twice to let them recover. Talula Bankhead's career had highs and lows from Broadway success to tough times in the film industry. Despite the challenges, she showed resilience that went beyond just fame. Tennessee Williams, renowned playwright, penned four characters specifically for her Myra Torrance in Battle of Angels, Blanche Dubois in A Streetcar Named Desire, Princess Cosmonopolis in Sweet Bird of Youth, and Flora Goforth in The Milk Train doesn't stop here anymore. In her role as Connie Porter in Lifeboat, she showcased her talent. Bankhead, known for her strong political stances, particularly her vehement opposition to the Axis powers during World War II, clashed with co-star Walter Slezak. Despite Slezak's Austrian background and his critical views on the German government, his portrayal of a Nazi character in the film drew Bankhead's ire. When Italy surrendered during filming, Bankhead openly expressed her disdain, stating her desire for the shedding of German blood and directing her anger towards Slezak himself. Her final on-screen appearance was as the Black Widow in the television series Batman. This marked the end of her illustrious career in the spotlight. An animal lover, she had quite the menagerie at home. Among her pets were a lion named Winston Churchill, a mean bird called Gaylord, and a monkey known as King Kong. Not your typical household companions. In a surprising turn, she played a role in politics, indirectly aiding Truman's victory in the 1948 election by criticizing his opponent Dewey. Truman himself praised her autobiography, claiming it was the best book he'd read since moving into the White House. Talala Bankhead's involvement in the film Lifeboat was equally unexpected. Director Alfred Hitchcock deliberately cast her as Connie Porter, aiming for the most incongruous choice imaginable for the character. She was his top pick for the role, embodying his vision for the film. Talala Bankhead's life was as fascinating as her career, marked by her love for animals, her surprising political influence, and her unexpected roles in film. Her legacy remains unique and memorable in the world of entertainment. Known for not wearing underwear, she often surprised people on set. While filming Lifeboat in 1944, crew members were shocked when she climbed a ladder without proper clothing, leading to complaints. Director Alfred Hitchcock playfully responded to the crew's concerns, jokingly asking if it was a matter for wardrobe or hairdressing. Despite her unconventional behavior, she was known for her talent and charm, capturing audiences both on and off the screen. Born into a prominent family, her father was William B. Bankhead, a well-known political figure, and her mother was Adeline E. Sledge, known for her grace and poise. Throughout her career, she challenged societal norms and embraced her uniqueness, leaving a lasting impact in the entertainment industry. 
She was later portrayed by Paget Brewster in the FX television series Ryan Murphy's Hollywood, highlighting her lasting influence. This woman's story continues to interest and inspire, showing the complexity and depth of her character. In 1950, she reprised her role as Connie Porter in the radio adaptation of the movie Lifeboat on Screen Director's Playhouse. The 60-minute broadcast took place on November 16. Moving forward to 1961, her persona served as the inspiration for Cruella de Vil in Walt Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Her distinct character left a lasting impression on the Disney villain. Beyond her work in entertainment, she was a strong advocate for civil rights. Notably, she became the first white woman to appear on the cover of Ebony magazine. Additionally, she was featured on the covers of T.I. Me and Life magazines. Her presence in these publications reflected not only her prominence in the entertainment industry, but also her dedication to social issues. Her advocacy for civil rights during a time of significant social change shows she was more than just an entertainer. In the movie Lifeboat, she played Connie Porter and impressed Sir Alfred Hitchcock so much that he gave her a puppy named Hitchcock. Talala Bankhead really liked jazz music and often went to famous jazz clubs in New York and Los Angeles. She was part of a group called the Four Horsemen of the Algonquin Clique, along with Eva Legallian, Blythe Daly, and Estelle Winwood. They were known for being clever and smart. Tawala Bankhead was very charming and funny, which made people like her a lot. She was famous not only for acting, but also for being social. Her connection with the Algonquin clique made her even more interesting, as they were known for being witty and making clever jokes. Throughout her career, she continued to charm people and inspire them, leaving behind a memorable influence on both the movie industry and society. She was truly a legend, and her impact is still remembered today. This story about her life and influence shows how important she was to both movies and culture. Considered one of the standout stars of Broadway in the 20th century, she didn't just stick to the stage. She also made a name for herself in movies, radio, and TV. Once in a press meeting, she joked about how the media liked to clean up her words for the papers. In the film Lifeboat, Talala Bankhead played the role of Connie Porter. Interestingly, while shooting in a tank, she climbed a ladder every day. What made it unconventional was her choice not to wear underwear, which got cheers from the crew. When Alfred Hitchcock found out, he joked about whether it was a job for the costume, makeup, or hair departments. This quirky story shows how Tolala Bankhead had her own way of doing things whether on Broadway or in movies. In her role as Connie Porter in Lifeboat, Tolala Bankhead shared the screen with Walter Slezak, who later played the Clock King in the ABC television series Batman. Bankhead herself took on the role of Black Widow during the show's second season. Apart from acting, Bankhead had a strong love for baseball, especially the New York Giants and the legendary player Willie Mays. On Broadway, she played important female roles in several productions. She starred in Clifford Audit's Clash by Night, which was later made into a movie with Barbara Stanwyck. Similarly, she originated roles in Reflected Glory, later turned into a film with Joan Crawford, as well as in Dark Victory and The Little Foxes, both of which became movies with Betty Davis, much to Bankhead's disappointment. Her work in theater and film, alongside her love for baseball, show that she was a diverse individual whose influence went beyond just acting. Named after the Tolala Falls in Georgia, she gained recent attention when Natasha Lyon portrayed her in the United States versus Billie Holiday in the year 2021. Irving Rapper once praised her screen test for The Glass Menagerie, considering it the greatest performance he had ever seen. However, Jack Warner hesitated to cast her alongside Errol Flynn due to concerns about alcoholism on set. Despite her assurances, the role ultimately went to Gertrude Lawrence, receiving mixed reviews. Her enigmatic persona captivated audiences and critics alike, leaving a strong impression on the entertainment industry. Her magnetic presence on screen and stage went beyond just acting. It was a powerful force, drawing both admiration and speculation. Tales of her eccentricities and larger-than-life personality became legendary, ensuring her place in Hollywood history. From her early days in the spotlight to her later years, her unique talent and unforgettable allure endure, making her a figure beloved by many and endlessly fascinating to all. In her later years, Talala Bankhead found an unexpected way to connect with her grandchildren through a guest role on a popular TV series. Not unlike Otto Preminger and Ellie Wallach, who were influenced by their grandchildren's interests, Talula saw an opportunity to entertain her own family. It was a family suggestion that led Julie Numar, visiting her brother's college in New York, to take on the role of Catwoman after some convincing from her brother's friends, who were avid watchers of the show. Apart from her TV work, 
She had a unique habit that raised eyebrows. She was known to smoke a staggering 120 cigarettes every day. This habit, a shocking amount of nicotine consumption, became a defining part of her lifestyle. However, beneath the surface of fame and unusual habits lies a sad story. Her mother passed away due to childbirth complications shortly after bringing her into the world. According to actress Hedy Lamarr, who met her in Vienna during her stage days, Tolala carried the weight of her mother's death throughout her life. Despite her father's efforts to convince her otherwise, she clung to the belief that she was somehow responsible for the tragedy. These aspects of her life, the unexpected twists in her career influenced by family, her astonishing smoking habit, and the lasting guilt over her mother's death offer glimpses into the layers of complexity that defined her personal story. In the Batman TV show, she played Black Widow, credited as Miss Talala Bankhead. Her dad was Speaker of the House of Representatives in the late 1930s. Her friend Patsy Kelly said she used TBB as a fun comeback to jokes about her initials TB meaning total bitch. She was really good at acting and was funny, leaving a big impression on stage and screen. People loved watching her because she was charming and talented. In 1949, a radio ad for Pearl Shampoo featured a character called Talala the Tube associated with Miss Bankhead. Legal action was taken against Proctor and Gamble, eventually settling out of court. Despite her efforts, the association lingered. She almost got the lead role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, but lost to Vivian Lee. Similarly, when Claudette Colbert had to withdraw from All About Eve due to a back injury, she was considered for the role of Margot Channing. However, Betty Davis was ultimately cast and received an Oscar nomination for her performance. Her name became linked with the character, leading to legal action against the company. Despite her efforts, the association lingered. She narrowly missed portraying Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, losing the role to Vivian Lee. Similarly, she was considered for Margot Channing in All About Eve after Claudette Colbert's withdrawal, but Betty Davis secured the part and earned an Oscar nomination. Close friends with Zelda Fitzgerald and Estelle Winwood, Tabula Bankhead reached the peak of her career with her role as Connie Porter in the film Lifebook. Her portrayal of the cynical journalist earned both critical acclaim and commercial success, making it her best performance on film. Despite high hopes for an Oscar nomination, the movie was snubbed, leading to her fury. Nevertheless, she secured the New York Film Critics Award for Best Actress that year, proudly accepting the trophy with the words, Darlings, I was wonderful. In her early years, she was sent to Catholic convent schools by her father, hoping to keep her out of trouble. This attempt, however, remained unrealized as her rebellious spirit and nonconformist attitude persisted throughout her life. Sent to Catholic convent schools by her father in the hopes of curbing her rebellious tendencies, her resilient spirit endured. Despite her father's unrealized expectations, her journey through Catholic education didn't quell her nonconformist attitude. In the world of analyzing popular culture, one can't ignore Susan Sontag's important essay, Notes on Camp from 1964. It was published by the Partisan Review and had a big impact on how people think about the camp aesthetic. Even though Sontag didn't directly talk about comic books or superheroes, her ideas about camp influenced many parts of entertainment and celebrity culture. In the world of camp, there are figures like Tallulah Bankhead who become really famous. They show the exaggerated drama and self-awareness that define camp. Bankhead style, with her flashy personality and big presence, embody the essence of camp long before people widely recognize the term. Bankhead's influence went beyond her time. She was later portrayed as the Black Widow on the famous TV show Batman. This version of Bankhead's character in superhero stories not only made her even more famous as a camp icon, but also showed how people still love her style. Camp isn't just about one type of thing or one style. It's everywhere in culture, shaping how we see fancy, funny, and beautiful things. Through Sontag's smart ideas, we learn that camp isn't just a way of looking cool, but also a way of seeing the world's funny and silly side. In the history of culture, people like Talala Bankhead show what camp is all about. They remind us that under the normal stuff in life, there's a fun and playful side that's always there. Bankhead's legacy shows how camp can keep people interested and excited. Codine. Urban, her last clear words are not just about her. They also tell us something about the fun and mysterious side of camp itself. 